Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly set up the APN settings on an Android phone. Okay, so it's pretty easy. You have uh, to go to the settings menu, so just lie down the notification menu and you'll see a gear light icon. So hit on that. The other way to get into the setting menu is go to the you know menu and then look for settings. Once in the settings uh, menu, Depending on the you know version of the phone you have, uh, some brands have a different menu, and also different version of Android. You might see it under wireless and network. Then you'll see something that says mobile networks. So just hit on that, and then you see access point names, which is what uh, APN stands for. So I'm gonna hit on that. Then you'll see a list of APN settings you you have on the phones. Um, in this case, I have a few ones created. Uh, so I always recommend adding a new one. You don't want to mess with you know existing ones. So uh, just hit the add button, and then you'll see uh, a few settings uh, you need to type in. Normally, if I go into yeah, I'm gonna exit. If I go into the T-Mobile one, you know which has already filled in, uh, you'll need uh, usually the the name, the APN. Then uh, the rest of the information could be you know left in blank. You don't need username nor passwords. Then uh, this is important: the multimedia message proxy, because depending on these settings, uh, you might be or might not be able to send you know multimedia messages. So sometimes uh, some people skip this setting, and at the end uh, they have trouble trying to send multimedia messages. So please make sure you put that in. Uh, MCC and MNC also is very important. Uh, this is wrong. I, I was playing with the settings. So, um, okay. So once you type in all the information, uh, you just uh, hit more and save it. Okay. Once you save it, uh, you know it will go back here in the list, and you can then you select, just select it, and use it. So after that you should be able to connect to the internet and use the phones. If you have any trouble uh, trying to set this up, uh, please uh, go to the link provided in the description part of this video and we have a complete article that goes into troubleshooting uh, you know, all kind of APN settings issues. Uh, also, if you don't have uh, the corresponding APN settings that you should use for your provider, you know, call it uh, AT and T, T Mobile, um, Verizon, whatever it is. Uh, you can also go into our blog, and you'll see uh, tons of uh, relevant information that uh, you know uh, can help you solve the issue. Hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.